Hi everybody, so we are um, going to talk in this video about how to get started with StuKent. For those of you who joined in on the Zoom call, you got a little bit of that information, um, but I wanted to get everything kind of recorded and out there for you so you can come back and use this whenever you're stuck anywhere and just basically to get started. Please make sure that you do take a look at the document that I'm sharing that will list kind of the order um, that I want you to go in. I actually don't want you to start posting just yet. There's a little bit you're gonna do within the books first, um, and then we'll get started with the posting. But I wanted to go over that, get you a little bit, um, kind of go over the tools that you're going to use in order to work this simulation. So this simulation, you are basically acting as a social media manager for a company called Boohee Bags. So when you need to get to the simulation, what you're going to do is you're going to always go to um, what it's called Mimic High School, Mimic Social High School um, trial. It's not going to say free for yours. But I'll go ahead and get into the home screen that you'll see when you are running the simulation. Um, first of all, pay attention in the upper left hand corner. It gives you the dates that you're working with for this simulation. Um, always pay attention to that because your post should kind of be focused on those dates. You're going to be looking at posting in October and November. So you're looking at, you know, possibly doing posts um, surrounding the holiday season, you know, fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving, things like that. You're not going to be posting about springtime and such that we're currently experiencing right now. Um, you can see here in the About Boohee, you're going to need to go through and read all of this so that you understand exactly what it is you're doing and what the who the company um, or what the company is all about and their products that they offer and their target market and things like that. Um, Boohee basically is, you're going to take a look at their products and they'll probably look very familiar for those of you who are um, familiar with um, uh, Herschel bags, Herschel backpacks and bags. They look just like that. Um, they just obviously can't use their name um, in this program. So they're called Boohy Supply, but you're going to see that it looks very similar to Herschel. So if you take a look on the executive summary, it's going to give you a business description, tells you a little bit about what the company stands for, what they do, gives you a little bit of a fiscal overview, tells you their market share, um, what their revenue was last year, and kind of what their goals are right now. Then if you take a look at products, again, like I said, as you're looking through their products that they offer, very similar to Herschel bags that you probably have seen on the market. Um, goes through the average price about their products, different co uh, colors and prints and things like that that they come in. Then if you click on market, you're going to see who your target market really is. Really their target market, as they tell you here, um, target market is ages 19 to 32. That's 90% of their customer base. And then they give you some customer profiles before, which are things that you're all familiar with that you worked on in marketing one, coming up with that, you know, kind of mock customer as your main target. Um, target person that you're going after as far as you know who you're kind of gauging your marketing efforts toward. You can see that they'll show you um, the percentage of the market that this customer makes up, their age range, their gender, their income level, and then their interests. And you're going to want to pay attention to these interests because when it comes to writing your sponsored post, you'll be able to um, kind of put your post toward that particular customer. You'll be able to use keywords and things like that. So as you click on the faces, you can see you have Back to School Mindy, City Hopper Sue, Up and Comer Raj, so on and so forth as you kind of go through and tells you a little bit about those customers. Then your analytics, you can go here and see how um, your posts have gone for you. You can take a look at your impressions, reactions and comments, clicks, revenues, shares, page likes, and conversions. And we'll talk about what all those things are and what that means um, throughout the chapters that you're going to be working on. You can see here you have the drop down where you can take a look at your different social channels. And then down below shows you the likes that you have, the age group, your current age group or your demographic for that particular um, channel, your gender ratio, and your ideal number of posts per day. Then you can see it goes to budget. Um, they talk about what they spend on social media marketing throughout the year and then what your weekly budget is for this program. What I will tell you, it says here, spend as much as your budget as possible. It doesn't carry over week to week, so it's good to spend it. You'll have to spend it on your um, promoted post. You'll have to also have to spend it on pictures and videos and things like that. Then it tells you annual budget, um, budget spent, production budget, and your promotion budget. Then you have your goals. Um, basically, these are things that your chief marketing officer has put out there for you, what they're wanting you to um, kind of you know, get out of this whole program, what they're wanting to see take place.